Hey, thanks for joining me for another Next Level Nunchaku video. Uh, last time I showed you guys how to do your figure eights with those axis changes. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with two. Uh, previously I showed you how to do where they're alternating, right? So one's going vertical while one's going horizontal. Um, we're going to do something just a little bit different this time. They're both going to be going verticals, horizontals, and verticals at the same time. Uh, what's going to be key to this is getting it so instead of, if, I'll do it this way easy guys, so out and ends, right? They both go to the outside, they both go to the inside at the same time. We're going to have them kind of mirroring each other so they both go to the left and to the right at the same time. This is just going to allow me to do that switch, that access switch, when they both cut in front, right? On this cut. When this cut starts, oops, sorry. When that cut starts, we'll bring it horizontal. Now again, we're going to cut on the top. They're both going low, high, same time. And then they're back to those cuts again. So you may notice that you cut and you come back to here. That's OK. Just get yourself back on beat. Same thing, bring it back. As it cuts on the inside, or sorry, in the front, we'll bring it horizontal. And again, you want to get it same time as quick as possible. You may have one leading and one following. Try to get them at the same time. As I finish the cut on top, we'll bring it around here. Now they're going forward, so as I finish it, right, as I finish those four. Get used to that, try it out with the double nunchucks. Uh, get the pathways here, right? And get the pathways where it's the same one. And you may mess up a couple times, but just get your mind working on the, all the different combos that your hands can do. Whether they're doing the same thing, whether they're doing different things. Just that kind of IQ in, in ways that you can break up what your hands do, it's really gonna help and it will allow you to do some really cool flows without having to think about it too much because the more you think about it the more your combo and form becomes stuttery right you want it to flow and the way you do that is by building that body confidence that body knowledge of not dropping jumps but building that knowledge of knowing that your body can do it without you having to think about it and that's going to be huge in your speed and flow so practice it don't drop them and i'll see you guys next time